When I came to San Francisco two years ago, I realized that San Francisco has a lot of rights, many rights that non-citizens and immigrants can enjoy. Even if you are not a citizen, you can still be a member of the parliament and influence the policies. Many times, the voices of the people of Hawaii and Asia are more weak, especially those who speak Chinese or other languages, are less representative in the parliament. I want to represent the voices of immigrants. We have taxes and we have contributions to society, but our policies have little voice. Wang Wingkun, who is a member of the Chinese pro-democracy pro-democracy movement, has emigrated to Hong Kong. Today, he is sworn in as a member of the election committee under the patronage of Pesky. As a non-citizen, he has faced many challenges in the process of becoming a member of the election committee. After taking office, he plans to voice his opinion on immigration and the unspeakable English of voters to improve the voting rate in the immigrant community. The election committee's duty includes monitoring the election, ensuring that the election is fairly fair. The discussion revolves around assigning non-citizens to the San Francisco Board of Elections, especially in roles tied to electoral processes. It's crucial to designate these responsibilities to individuals genuinely invested in the nation's future. Democrats express skepticism about changing eligibility criteria, seeing it as a tactic to gain support. National identity and representation's importance shouldn't be overlooked, as non-citizens might not fully grasp or effectively represent American citizens' interests in crucial electoral roles. Opposition voices echo democratic sentiments, potentially fueling public discontent with the appointments, viewed as straying from fundamental norms.